All right guys, so I was running through this big test for you guys today to do a, my fan's on, hold on. To do a new speed test for the new Insta360 Studio 2021 app that came out today um, to see how much faster it was in regards to this new one versus the old one because the new one right in their description says that it is now M1 compatible so that it's functioning and it is ready for the Apple Silicon. So I was like, cool. So I ended up doing uh, a test on the old software, so 3.5.5, I think it's 3.5.5. Um, yeah, and, I, and it came out, one minute clip, so it came out to just under six minutes, five minutes and 56 seconds, I believe it was. So I installed the app, the new one, so 3.56, and you can see it right here, 3.56 on the screen. This is, this is the new one, Insta360 Studio 2021. And as you can see here on their update, it says it's now compatible here with the M1. Um, and I ran this one and it also, it came up, I think it came up at like five minutes and 52 or 53 seconds. So not different enough to anything. It could have been just a difference in that or a process running in the background that caused it to, to be you know four seconds faster. So I was a little concerned. Um, and, and as you can see here, it is 3.56. So I went into my activity monitor here and you'll see Insta360 Studio right there, Intel. It's, it's not an Apple architecture. So they're saying it's M1, but it's not showing. I even went into my system here, in here, and made sure that it was the only one that I had still. I went into my applications folder here just to make sure that I didn't have any other Insta360s. Nope, just the one you'll see today at 1231. It's currently 1234. So I actually went to their website and re-downloaded it to, to see if that would, would fix it. And it's, and it's still not. So I'm putting out this video just to see if any of you are having the same issues with Insta360 Studio 2021 with your M1 Mac, be it the Mini, the Air, or the Pro, uh, and, and go in after you install it, because I was expecting, and even, even their description said that you would get a huge performance, or not maybe huge, but a performance increase, which, which I really didn't. So curious to see if uh, you guys are having the same results as I am, or if there's something that my machine's not doing, I've even, like I said, uninstalled them, reinstalled, restarted the computer, comes up here, like you can see, Intel. I don't know. All right, guys, comments down below if yours is coming up as Apple architecture, which is what it should be if you're running the M1 processor, and if it was Intel, but now is the Apple because you did something, I don't know, uh, please, please let me know down in the comments. Really, really curious. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, just if we figure out what's going on with this, we will definitely either make another video or leave another comment on here just to see what's going on. All right, my friends, I'm out. Disappointed. Disappointed.